Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch, the show that fuels your business success. I'm Brandon Gano, your host and guide through the world of harmonious business growth. Today, we're unlocking powerful strategies with industry experts to help your business thrive. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or executive, you are in the right place. Join me and our incredible guest today on the journey to clarity, growth, and success. It is time to revolutionize your approach to business. Let's dive in with another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Welcome back to some more bite-sized business advice. I always want these episodes to be quick, actionable, and most importantly, disruptive. No shortage of that today. I am super pumped for this conversation. We're talking about numerology. I am not qualified to spell that word. I don't even know what that is, so I can't wait to dive in with our guest. And before we get there, why don't I bring her on? Coach Timmy, welcome to Harmonious at Launch. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Brandon. I'm really glad to be here. Thanks. Uh, I'm excited. So we started talking before we were recording, and I'm just all over the place with this topic. I, I still have no idea what it is, but it's fascinating because you uh, you described me very, very well for knowing very little about me. So mm -hmm. um, let's first ground ourselves. What is numerology? Numerology it was created by Pythagoras, who is a real person who lived 500 years before Christ was born. And he was actually kidnapped to, to Greece, loved being there, and was so intellectual and so powerful that he was like a human Greek god for them. He was a mathematician, and he could explain anything in life through math. And is so this, uh, Pythagorean theorem, is that the guy? That's the same guy. Same okay. guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. We still know him today. And so numerology these days is kind of modernized and kind of simplified. But basically, it's um, the alphabet lining up with the numbers. So A is one, B is two, C is three. And then your birthday is all numbers anyway. And so um, what I realized about a little over 30 years ago was that you could use it to predict, you can use it to understand your purpose. And with your with your name, when you do your name, you can understand your destiny. So where are you headed? And I was one of these people that I wanted to know, I wanted a map. I wanted to know why am I here? What am I supposed to do? And later when I got help with that, with numerology, I realized, yeah, no wonder I wanted to know because I have a big destiny. So, you know, it made sense to me. That's awesome. I love that. And uh, I want to apologize to any of you watching. I may have just thrown up a gang sign before when I tried to make a triangle with my hands. So uh, my apologies for that. But no, shout out to Pythagorean theorem and fifth grade algebra. That's I'm right. curious, though. So you said numerology is about how numbers and letters line up. He was Greek. So we use the, the Greek alphabet originally, at least. Um, how does that has anything changed over the last 2,500 years or does no, it I, well. I, I'm not qualified to answer that. I, you know, <laughs> we just use the good old American um, alphabet. And it's interesting because I get people from other countries sometimes who have Americanized names. And so we kind of, you know, stay open-minded about that, that if your name is actually in an Asian language or uh, a Middle Eastern language, and we've Americanized it with our alphabet, how does that work? And it usually works. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> That is very interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, if if someone has a very authentic name in their culture and then they come over and say their name is Jeff, like yeah. it's obviously not their name. No. Yeah, no, it would be more of what is, how do you translate your name? It'd be more Okay, of, that makes more sense. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. that being said, I am still excited to unpack this. You, I mean, you're, you're a leadership coach. You're in the business world. You are using this in business. So this is not just like some woo-woo conversation we're having out yeah. there. Well, I'm it curious. isn't the first thing I talk about because I am a leadership coach and I have corporations that hire me and I have entrepreneurs that hire me that are spending good money. And so we go traditional at first. But as we go along, if they're saying, I wish I knew, you know, how, uh, why I'm here or, oh, this just happened, you know, what do I do kind of a thing, then this is a great way to fall back on it. Yeah, I think it's an interesting topic and I'm, I'm curious, you know. That kind of hints at how you use it in in the corporate world, yeah. but for small business owners and entrepreneurs too, I, I think it's just something. It's another tool in the toolbox, if you will. Yeah. Um. So I'm curious, where do you start with people with kind of unpacking numerology? So when when you're helping them understand different things or or just open different different avenues, well, if you will. 
Where do you one, start? Yeah. So one of the the struggles that I I see numerologists ha- uh, sorry entrepreneurs having is that they they wonder if they're on the right track. Are they doing the right thing? Are they living their purpose? And so it's very easy to just take a birthday and go, well, this is what you should be doing on a daily basis. This is where you should focus. And then to take their um, name and say, and this is where you're headed. And then, you know, I'm a, I'm a leadership coach. So I work with gaps, you know, what, what's the goal here and where are you right now? And what's the gap? And I help people get focused on what they can do to close the gap for their destiny. Hmm. This is a, yeah, it's very, it's just, and it, well, so what, it, you know, what, it, what it does, I've done this for a couple of people that were really miserable that were like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. And when we did the numbers, they went, you know what, you just proved to me I'm on my, I'm on the right track and that I just need to keep stay on the, stay focused and stay doing what I'm doing and just, you know, get through these hard times. And so it can be really um, soothing and reassuring and then i've worked with people that are also in their 60s that are uh they've done it you know and and when you do their numbers for them they go oh my gosh so all these decisions i made all these things that i tried i was on the right track and it's like you were totally on the right track you nailed it Mm -hmm. yeah i mean the the journey of entrepreneurship and and business ownership is it's a hard journey it's a hard road and it's it's definitely not for everybody so i see where you know people get burned out or or they yeah. think they're on the wrong path because it is challenging. And there's nothing wrong with a challenge, obviously. But when people start to have those doubts, um, yeah, it's it's clear that this something like this could could definitely help them. So well, it refocuses them and it yeah. reassures them. And, exactly. and you know what what I think it took me a long time to realize I was really in the closet on numerology. I wasn't telling any clients. I had friends and family that were using me on the side, but um, I think that that um, people are more spiritual than we realize, that they really do want to make a difference. And when you're in a, a job that's eating you alive sometimes, you know, it's hard to feel like you're you have a purpose and that that there's um, some spirituality to it. And what's interesting about it is your birthday are the challenges that you have. The, your birthday are all the things that you're going to have to learn to be better at. Unpack that for me. I'm curious. There's mm-hmm. 365 days a year. So there's potentially 365 challenges or series of challenges. Yeah. Uh, how do you, what do you mean by that? By, by well, I can use my, I'll use my own. I, my birthday adds up to 36 points. So I've got December 1st and then a, a year that adds up to 36 points. And, and that makes me a nine. So you take the three and the six. And that makes a nine. And in most numerology, the, all the stuff that you can buy online, pretty much it reduces everything down to one digit because numerology, commercial numerology is one through nine. But I look at if I'm a nine, where did that nine come from? It came from the three and the six. Well, a six means that my job, my challenges, and this is related to work is I need to have jobs where I create foundations for others because a six creates foundations. A six is the house you buy, the job, your you it could be a mom, you know, it's it's a it's a vibration of creating stability for someone else. And then a three is that I needed to learn to develop my communication skills and my creativity. And I was already communicative and I was already uh, creative. So with the communication, I learned conversational intelligence. I learned how to mediate. I learned how to do strategic planning. So I took it up a notch because I needed to learn to be exceptional in the area of a three. And the creativity, I have uh, actually have a certificate in creative problem solving. Interesting. And I draw and I'm learning to draw this year how to draw for business. So, you know, I'm always kind of pushing the envelope on, you know, what, what is a creative uh, business person in in a traditional workplace? Yeah, I like that. So what are, what are some of the challenges that come from your birthday? I'm curious. Well, the fact that uh, if I was already kind of a blah, blah, blah kind of person, what kind of communication did I need to develop? And it was that higher communication to create, to resolve conflict, to do mediations or to help people to lead a group, to facilitate or to, um, 
you know, maybe to decipher what's wrong, you know, when there's problems with people to be able to communicate and to say, hey, why don't we try this? Or, you know, tell me what's really going on here. And, um, and the thing that's important about this is that ultimately, it reduced to being a nine. So ultimately, what would happen is people say, oh, well, you're a nine, you're a humanitarian. And I would go like to whole little, um, what do you call them? Uh, places to help the elderly or go to a soup kitchen or something. And that wasn't feeding my soul. I wasn't go walking away going, wow, that was awesome. I was like, I don't know, that doesn't feel right. Because I'm a business humanitarian. I'm I'm helping people. I'm mediating. I'm resolving conflicts. I'm running groups, right? I'm a different kind. So, it, so by doing the numerology this way with the double numbers, then the three and the six makes the nine. Then I, I can... Uh, I can know where I put my energy. And, you know, I think we talked about your birthday. You're a one. And so what kind of one are you? You're a two, eight. A two and eight is 10. One and zero is one. So your challenges have to do with leadership, with, you know, taking the lead. And then the twos have to do with uh, creating balance and harmony, doing jobs, being in situations where you're creating harmony for others and justice for others. And that one that it reduces to means that you're a leader. You're a, the first person. You're a trailblazer. You're doing original things. Yeah. And this is where in the beginning of the episode, I was like, you, you knew a lot about me by just knowing uh, my birthday and we have never met before this. Um, no. And I'm always, I'm always skeptical of, of this kind of stuff um, because I'm always wondering like how much of it is, is true. And then all, how much of it does it pigeonhole you into a path? But that being said, everything you just said about me have been like the natural tendencies of my life. Right, Natural like, tendencies. And, and it's, and it's a, and it's a pattern and it's a, a trend with you. And, and the thing that makes it true is that you resonated to it. I didn't tell you that's what you are. I said, this implies, this is what these numbers mean. And you went, boy, you nailed me. Yeah. I mean, look at the name of the show, right? Harmonious, harmony. Duh. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> but the yes. other one, the, the one that was interesting was uh, the leadership makes complete sense. I, I've had uh, numbers of people and uh, personality assessment, all this stuff. It always says I'm a leader. Right. That's fine. So um, what happens with the leadership thing, though, is that people who have not had it easy kind of go, I'm really bad at this, or, oh, I don't want this responsibility. And if it's there, you need to know that's what you need to get better at. That's yeah. your, that's your job. Your birthday is what you need to get better at. Yeah. The one that struck me though, is the, the one where you said fighting for the injustice. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that's always true. been, yeah, always been something that I just feel like it's like that underdog mentality, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I want to fight for, the little guy. That's where this show comes from. Like I want to empower right, exactly. small business owners. Our our company, What If, is all about empowering small business owners. And uh, I thought that was interesting when you said that because I was like, huh, that's been, that has been, if before anything else, the theme of my life in business. And it's your passion. Business. It's and your yeah. passion. Yeah. So when I was definitely. in college, um, we I was taking sociology and psychology classes and there was a word called Veltsmerz. And Veltsmerz means world pain. And when we were studying it, I was sitting there in class going, that's me. I'm, I have world pain. Well, then, then I've learned about numerology 10 years later. And I'm a nine. I'm a humanitarian on my birthday. And for my name, my whole name is a 99, which is a world glo a global humanitarian. So yes, I have world pain. Yes. And it, it resonated even in college. Yeah. And I, I was restless. I was very restless. And I was taking all these classes, self-development classes and stuff. And I besides college. And I was like, I want a map. I wanna, I wanna know what I'm supposed to do. And they they said, there's no map. And I started crying. I was very upset. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, not that you're crying, but that you found the map and here I created a map. I yeah. Created. Here's where you are. Right. I love that. So speaking of maps, I want to put your uh, website, soulworkmaps.com on the screen, wherever you're watching or listening, it's also in the screen. So you can dive in more to this, but what I, you said, I think in the beginning, your name is your destiny. Is that what your you said? Destiny. It's where you're uh, headed. 
It's I'm where you're headed. Book. If you're open to it, I would love to hear what my name is in numerology. And oh, that would take me a bit. <laughs> we should have done that before we got on and then I could do it. <laughs> it okay, takes, totally but, but the way it works with your name, if any of you want to try this, is A is one, B is two, C yep. is three, and it goes nine. And then you just start the alphabet over again and you layer it. So, mm. uh, you know. Uh, so it's uh, not one through 26. R, it's one through nine repeated. One through nine repeated, yes. Okay. And then you can add it up. And what it, and that number, the two digit number that you get, or I guess it yeah. could be a three digit number. Yeah, it could even be that? it could be three digits. There's more and more of that, by the way. Yeah. Because what of the way you, the world is. Yeah. What do you do with that number? Then you reduce it. So um, so let's just say it's two digits because that's the easiest to explain. So mine is a 99, and then that reduces to 18, and that reduces to nine. So people are going to say, oh, your destiny is a nine, but they're cheating me because it's a 99-18-9. So the 99 means it's a master number. Anytime you have two numbers together, it's a master number. And it means you have global responsibilities spiritually. Hmm. All right. And that nine and nine reduces to 18. That was a huge, huge breakthrough for me. And it took me probably 20 of the last 30 years to understand this. That 18 puts me in being in charge of whatever the humanitarian effort is. Interesting. Because it's a one, which yeah. is the original, and it's an eight, which is leadership. Hmm. That's very cool. So um, now I know why I didn't like going to convalescent hospitals and working in soup kitchens, because yeah. I wasn't in charge. Exactly. I didn't put me in charge. <laughs> that, makes, that makes complete sense. So I, this is this is fascinating wildly entertaining for me i'm also a bit of a nerd so um that maybe yeah, that's the numbers, I like the yeah. numbers I, yeah i want I to say it. though to the people that do add up your birthday if you come out with an 11 and you're and you're tempted to reduce it to a two it is a two one and one is two but if you're an 11 you're a spiritual light messenger and you need to live that one you don't need to live the life of a two. Nothing wrong with being a two unless you're an 11 first. Yeah. So, no, that's, yeah. That's, that's good. That's interesting advice. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, but, okay. So maybe we'll unpack my name after this recording. If we yeah. do, I'll put it in the description um, okay. just because I'm curious to see what happens. Sure. But um, I, I just, I want to wrap up with kind of tying this back to business because it's, it's interesting for everybody if you're in business or not. Um, but for those people who kind of use this and leverage it, your clients in the business world, what what kind of doors or possibilities do they open up? I'm just curious what what happens when they understand this part of their their life? Well, it you know, work, entrepreneurialism and even corporate life very uh, can really rip your soul. I mean, it really can be harsh and. Uh, it takes courage. And so if you understand your purpose and you understand where you're headed, it gives you, it lightens it for you. It makes it um, a mission, a, you know, a, a quest, right? And everybody loves a quest. So uh, it helps you focus. It gives you some technique because with the numerology, I also combine two business assessments. And I, I use Strength Finders, which is Gallup. And I use the Fascination Assessment, which is all about your brand. And it gives you an archetype. And with those three together, you have a map. You know where, where, who you are, where you're headed, how you'll get there, and the skills you'll use. And that's what a soul work map is. It's, it's three different assessments. It's numerology and the two other business assessments. That is cool. Always helpful to have a map in business, right? Especially a map of, a map of yourself. Well, when you consider the pandemic and what it did to people and how disorienting it was, even if you were sick in bed during that period of time, if you know your birthday's numbers, you can still, like I'm a communication creativity. Well, from bed, if I had gotten sick, I could have at least focused on how I treat people that are helping me. I could have maybe done something creative to lighten myself you know, or to improve myself. I could have stayed focused on that and still be on my path. Yeah, that's awesome. No, that's super yeah. helpful. Timmy, this has been fascinating. Thank you so much for coming and being a guest on, on Harmonious at Lunch. You're welcome.
for those of you watching, listening, wherever you are, make sure you subscribe. The website's on the screen. It's in the descriptions. Go get your soul work map. Go check out Timmy's website and dive in more. See what you get out of, of understanding your personal numerology. Um, we will see you back on the next episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Always appreciate you listening. Make sure you subscribe, comment, do all those fun things. We'll see you next time.